This is a reply to Jim Carrey's recent video in which he does a musical routine that mocks uh, American gun, gun owners. For those of you who haven't seen the video, I suggest you, you go take a look at the video. You could probably find it by typing in uh, Jim Carrey mocks gun owners. Now to summarize the video, it basically is a video um, that's a mockery or a spoof on the old TV show Hee Haw and it makes rural white Americans look like idiots. For some reason Jim Carrey has the impression that the only people that live in rural America are white people. There are no black rural people or Mexican rural people people that back up the Second Amendment. But anyway, the video is a musical in which he sings a song where he mocks Charlton Heston, who is a great uh, Second Amendment advocate. Um, the song's joke is that they take the old line that Charlton Heston used, uh, you can pry my gun, you can take my gun from me when you pry it from my gold head hands, and Jim Carrey cleverly turns the wording around and says, you can take my cold, cold gun out of my dead hands because, get it, Charlton Heston is dead, so you have to take the gun out of his dead hands. Really funny, Jim. Um, another really amusing part of the video is where you have two young uh, rural women examining a diagram that equates the size of a man's genitals with the size of his gun. That, that was hilarious, Jim. It really had me rocking on the floor. The highlight of the video is uh, toward the end of Jim Carrey's song. Uh, Jim Carrey portraying Ch Charlton Heston uh, accidentally blows his leg off with his gun and the staff of his uh, production all find this amusing and that supposedly that shows that rural America finds amputations and ac firearm accidents very funny. Yeah, this was a very funny video, uh, Jim Carrey. This was, this was a, like watching a car wreck in action. Um, the history, putting this video in historical context, other than the fact that it's completely unfunny, um, fascist policies have long, have long been implemented with a close connection with entertainers, actors, and artists. And uh, I think we're seeing uh, a perfect example of that. Now, the leading uh, administration that, that backed up the artists in a fascist manner to promote its fascist uh, uh, policies was the Nazi government, uh, which had a very close uh, relationship with, with musicians, with artists, and with movie makers. One of their most famous movies that also was stereotypical and portrayed racist images was the Eternal Jew that basically portrayed Jews in a, in a caricature that they're greedy, parasitical, unethical people. Much the same way that Jim Carrey portrays white rural Americans as idiots, not politically conscious, insensitive, um, inadequate. Um, it's a very easy group to target and it's not fair. Our American history also has very well-known examples of where other groups have been targeted and have been made fun of and been mocked by uh, a ruling class or by the entertainment elite and that has been the old minstrel shows where white actors put on blackface and then dance around in their interpretation of black behavior. This is basically a minstrel show turned on its head where you're making fun of white people, uh, rural white people. Um, I suggest you that Jim Carrey find something more controversial to make sport of if he has any cojones, such as maybe uh, dealing with the drones and the innocent victims that have been killed by American drones in the Middle East, or the Mexicans and even U.S. Uh, immigration officers that have been killed as a result of Fast and Furious. But no, I don't think Jim Carrey is going to be making those videos at any time soon because Jim Carrey's career is in a nosedive and he needs to take money where he can get it as is apparent by this very unfunny and disgraceful video. Um, I'd like to sum this up by saying that I think that we're, we're in the midst of uh, inundation with videos, music, entertainment that mocks uh, white Americans, Caucasians, and there's a specific purpose for this. The purpose is to develop racial consciousness in white people, much as they've developed, as a racial consciousness has been developed in black people, in Mexicans, in uh, Jewish people, in Muslim people, because the policy is to divide and conquer. 
And as patriots of all races and all religions, we need to see through these superficial attempts to manipulate us and stick together to stand by the Constitution and against fascism. Thank you for watching today. Have a good one.